by the time you see this video, this will be done. We're pushing boundaries here, we're pushing limits into the uncomfortable, unknown areas, unknown territories of commercial video production. We're using a camera setup that we've never used before. We're assembling a crew and organizing the crew in a way we've never done it before. And we're basically executing on a project that is very ambitious and it's gonna be sick. I'm kind of riding that discomfort and the fact that I feel like I don't know what I'm doing, but I do know what I'm doing, but I also don't. So just kind of riding that discomfort, I'll be directing. Cameron is the cinematographer, Ryan is the AC. We got Avery Wilton as our grip gaffer, and we got Jake McDonald as our sound slash swing. So, small crew, we're gonna make this happen, and it's gonna be freaking epic. It's gonna be broadcast on a Porsche sim racing tournament, like a global tournament, a Porsche esports competition. This is where sim racing champions are born. I know one who won this series years ago and is now racing real cars. We're at Origin Camera today, building the rig. We're gonna test some record formats, we're gonna test some shots, we're gonna take you along with us and show you this process from the start. This is not the very, very, very start. We've done a lot of pre-production meetings before this, but this is the start of us getting together and getting our hands kind of just right dug into the stuff. The idea is to emulate the feeling of driving and experiencing a Porsche. We're gonna translate that to the simulator experience. Stick around, it's gonna be a sick video. You're gonna learn a lot in this video. We're gonna show you how we make this commercial. Origin Camera on Ontario, one of the greatest resources to ever bless our filmmaking careers. Um, this is our incredible camera that we're using today. A little bit of an overkill. Probably not. We're shooting a half million dollar Porsche today. As an operator, as someone who loves holding cameras, um, the director usually doesn't touch a camera. I just wanted to hold it because I wanted to see how it feels because this is a freaking insane combo. Atlas Orion anamorphic, 80 millimeter focal length, running a PL mount to RF into the red Komodo 6K, and a whole lot of other fancy bits that Ryan assembled for us here. So, enjoy the video. <laughs> Cameron's laughing at me behind the camera, but the camera's gonna be pointed at him really soon. Cause you're gonna get to see from the perspective of a film crew how we made this happen. And all the expertise of the people involved are gonna come to life so that you can see how it's done. Cause we're not professionals yet. Actually some of us are, but some of us are not. We're, we're our, our passion is here and our skill is on making its way up and we're just bridging that gap. So once that gap is bridged, you will know everyone's name on this crew. So enjoy the video and I'll see you soon. I want to show you something. Come, come. Are we able to go out, Ramsey? Oh, that's a pull door. Just like take a peek. Take a peek at that. Do you know what Formula One is? Do you know what DRS is? That has a DRS wing on a road car. It means it moves. I don't know. That's all I can tell you about DRS. I'm sorry. That's our simulator. That's our Porsche. We're staging in this back room. And then uh, once the dealership closes, lights off. Yeah from the ceiling, lights on from our gear, and we're gonna make some magic. It's going well, right now we're setting up for the hero shot. Uh, basically it's showing the Porsche behind the car and then the simulator in front of it. Uh, it's pretty cool looking right now. We have a bit more lighting that Cameron has to play with to light up the sim just a little bit more. So it looks super, super cool. Um, things are going pretty well. Uh, I don't think we're behind schedule. We still have like three and a half, four hours left to shoot today. Uh, it's a one day shoot, but uh, it's going good. Hopefully we don't have a pickup day. That'd be terrible because they wouldn't let us do that because they're at a dealership. And we had, they had to move like 10 cars to get this laid out. But it's going good. It's going great. <laughs> Hi, they're putting a spotlight up there. 
with a Fresnel to light up this because we can't see it right now. Because it blends into the background and you know, we want it to pop. So they're taking a Fresnel up there and then illuminating it and making it pop. It should look super, super cool. I'm just down here with BTS guy because that's my job right now. <laughs> So uh, we just shot our opening shot cool. and our hero shot, aka the closing shot. It looked freaking epic. This is tight on time. This was a very ambitious project in all regards. We're moving in for our insert shots, our coverage. We're gonna get driver interacting with the simulator. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Inputs on the steering wheel, inputs on the pedals, seat moving. We're gonna do the same in the car. Obviously the seat doesn't move in the car. The team is absolutely killing it and everyone just doing what they gotta do to make this happen. We even have a light up on the second floor spotted down and showing the rig. So if you have a look over there, Mark's just testing the simulator. So you can see how the seat moves and stuff. Rolling. You're feeling great. Good. Add a little shot of coffee. Nailed an audio take. Love it. Life's good. Next up for us is we're gonna get the car in play now. Car, we have a couple shots here. That's gonna be interesting for lighting. We're basically going to flip our setup so that what we had as our key before is now gonna be our fill light because you always wanna be shooting on the short side or the shadow side just to give image more depth and all that. So we're gonna be flipping that and messing around with all these kind of intricate lighting setups with some slashes, some color contrast, a lot of uh, a lot of hard cuts, and a lot of a lot of playing around with those warmer tones as well. As you can tell, a Porsche logo has those warmer tones, and it also makes it more inviting and modern. And yeah, it's time time to set up for for some more of the car setups, and we're really gonna focus in on that key turn, those RPMs going up, those really key shots that help you transition into the sim stuff. I think that stuff's gonna look wicked. So yeah, let's do it. So we're gonna run through all these shots and then we're getting loaded up, packed up. The Sim just left to go to a motor show in Detroit. So Mark loaded on the van, he ran away. And we're finishing up with a lovely Porsche 992 GT3S. Mark Motors, thank you so much for letting us film in your beautiful space. If you need a Porsche, I know I need a Porsche one day. Porsche, sorry, I keep messing it up. Porsche. One day I'm gonna walk at this dealership and I'm gonna buy one of these. But for now, if you need a Porsche, come and see them. We'll start, yeah, just a little crunch here. And your phone is going to be like... Thank you for watching. Dustin, thanks bro. Okay. Thank you for the opportunity. My pleasure.